And right now, 15,000 Oregonians are without power because of preventative shutoff measures from energy companies. Now, these outages started this morning. More are likely to come throughout the day, and they could keep people in the dark for days. Now, PGE and Pacific Power say they're worried wind in our forecast could bring down their power lines, sparking our bone-dry vegetation. Now, right now, we're seeing the largest outages east of Troutdale in Springdale and Corbett. You can look Look at the map right there. And as we go southeast towards Mount Hood, large outages in Sandy, Rhododendron, and Government Camp. A further south, hundreds of people in Estacada and spring water are without power. Welcome to Coin 6 News at noon. I'm Jenny Hansen. We do have team coverage of the wildfire dangers and mitigation efforts across our area. A meteorologist Kelly Bayern is tracking wind and heat patterns here. And Lisa Balick is live in Portland's West Hills tracking preventative power shutoffs. Now, Lisa, you're actually at Odyssey Elementary in southwest Portland where school has been canceled due to one of these outages. Yeah, school is canceled. It was a preemptive strike. In other words, knowing that the power was going to be going out at some point today. It also happened at Sylvan School. As you can see, the wind is really starting to pick up. It happened just about a half hour ago. This area in an area that has been told to expect power to be shut off very shortly. Now take a look at the area here. We found today, again, people were getting ready for the power to be shut off. We found garage doors open. Now, homeowners in Portland's West Hills were alerted last night to expect a power shut up today sometime between 10 a.m. and 2. It did not happen at 10 a.m. when we were up here. I checked with several neighbors, all who knew it was a possibility, especially with power lines so close to their homes, this wind expected, narrow streets, so close to Forest Park, an area dense with trees and tough to access if a fire gets started. Trained volunteers with neighborhood emergency teams have gone door to door here where they live to make sure people are prepared. Charging everything that needed charging, making sure the cars had a full tank, and then letting the neighbors know that they should do the same. Okay. Are people, do you feel like that they're pretty prepared, especially not knowing how long it might last? Reasonably so. A uh, power outage is not as severe as, say, an ice storm where you can't go anywhere. And because it's only localized to certain parts of the city, you have a backup location you can go to. Now, some who live in the area say it's a bit unsettling not knowing exactly when the power will be turned off and when it will be back on. It could last through tomorrow night or into Sunday, depending on the wind conditions. But with the fire dangers so high, everyone I talk to understands this is a fire prevention method. And what we are starting to see at this hour, as you can tell, the wind kicking up, and we have started to see a fair number of PGE trucks going by. So it's very likely the power is going to be shut off here sometime in the next little while. We'll keep you posted live in southwest Portland. Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Yeah, all this so we can hopefully avoid what we saw a couple of years ago. Thank you, Lisa.